Hello guys and welcome to the second video on how to find cheap expired domains for your private blog network. In this video, if you guys probably have already watched the first video, if you haven't, I would suggest go watching that because I'm going to run through things a little bit more quicker than I did in the last video. Basically what we do here, what I'm going to be doing here is um, putting this link, this URL right here through Xenu and I'll be showing you guys how to use Microsoft Excel to sort things and um, I'm going to do a little more spam checking on a couple domains. So I already know that there's a lot of um, good domains in here that are expired and that we can register because I did this in yesterday's video on accident. But um, let's get right into it. So what we're going to do, as you, can, as, as you guys can see, this page right here has a lot of outbound links, which is awesome for us right here in this thing. So we copy this URL, head on over to Xenu, paste that in check URL, paste that right on in there, let that load up, as you guys can see it has almost eight, 800 URLs right eight, here, 860 URLs, so we're going to let that load and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back and this thing is just finished up, um, click no on the do you want to report, click up here on the status to sort them, as you guys can see, look at all these no such hosts sites right here, look, starts way up here, goes all the way down here, See all these? This is what we. This is when you find like kind of like gold mine of uh, expired domains right here. So we can see all of these URLs right here that are expired and available to register more than likely. So once we have things like this, it's going to take forever to copy the URL and paste it on over to the bulk domain searcher right here. So that would take forever. So what we're going to do is export it to um, a separate file right here. So you go up here to File, Export to Tab, Separate File. Click that save it as a text document on wherever you want I save it as links.txt save it head on over to Microsoft Excel um, once we do this we're going to go over to data from text right here find the file that you just saved it as there it is so links import that finish okay and now that we have all the links right here what we're going to want to do is filter click filter status text right here so this is where our status is click on this drop box right here uncheck select all so all these are unselected and then just click no such host select that press ok and then you have all the URLs right here with a no such host next thing you want to do is get rid of all this nonsense right here since we already know that it's all no such host. Get rid of that. Click back up here in the top box. Go to home. And the next thing you want to do is find, select, replace. And what we do this for is to replace um, the HTTP colon slash slash part of it. Replace it with nothing. Replace it. Gets. I put too many T's. There we go. Replace it. You replace all of those. Get rid of the www added four W's on accident, replace those, and now that we have that gone, we can copy all these right here to the next thing right here, bulk domain searcher, enter that in. Now that we have all these in here, what we're going to do is search it, let that search, and we can see that we have a bunch of available domains right here that we can spam check to see if they're good to look through. So that's what we're going to be doing mostly in this video, looking through all these domains. And I'll be showing you guys what looks like a good domain, what could be a bad one, and um, just how to tell. So first things first, let's get started. HealerPetProducts.com. Copy that. Head on over to here. We can see that is registered from 2004 to 2007. Looks like it's been dropped since then. Pet Pack Products. So it looks like some sort of business for pet pack products, whatever that is. Same thing. Same thing. Okay, yep, so definitely not a spammy domain. Something, a business's website about pet pack products, whatever that may be. So head on over to here and put them there and put it there. So 1327. Domain Authority of 13, page 3027, Pet Pack Inc, Healer Pet, Healer Products, looks like it's pretty good, 19, Trust Flow, 15, Citation Flow, 
let's see about in the last five years 13 14 so yeah this is definitely a non spammy domain um, with pretty good power we can see that it has 13 domain authority 27 page authority so we can head on over here add it to our list of domains that are good 13 I think it was 1327 let me check again 1327 yep good domain add that to the possible domains that we could register and we are heading on to the next one so right here Beth Malone photography copy that paste that into here as you guys see it's definitely just a process um, it doesn't take long but you kinda get used to you kinda get in a rhythm if you just play some music in your headphones and you can you can bust out hour or two work of this and you can find probably 30 to 50 domains for your private blog network that you can register um, all for really cheap so this is what I really like to do we can see right here it looks kinda dropped right here so this look might be kind of a spammy domain but we'll have to just double check right here and oftentimes I'll either do this one first or I will put it into here first to see like if I put in this site right here and it has a weak and it's a weak domain I won't even care if it's spam or not because I don't want it but as you can see right here domain authority is 16 page authority of 30 100 1000 total links but obviously there's a site-wide link from blog metropolis right here so it looks like it's actually a pretty powerful domain let's put it in here see if there's any spam anchor text 13 16 18,000 external backlinks. Wow, so let's see what that gives us. Look at all, I mean, this is interesting right here. So, so as we can tell, a lot of links, 18,000 links, I mean, pretty low trust flow, pretty low citation flow. Um, looks like a lot of random anchor text right here. Let's see if we can look through this. See if we can see anything. Refrigerator repair doesn't really look like something that we would have on a photography site. Weather San Francisco M16 rifle for sale. Yep, see that this is definitely was used as a spammy domain. So you can either check this for spam or you can see the anchor text and check that for spam so we can definitely pass on this um, head on back to here St. Nicholas Hope and actually let's just do it this way first because it's a little bit quicker than waiting to see than using the Wayback Archives this will filter URLs a little bit faster than doing the other way so let's, we'll put it into Moz Pro and Majestic SEO quick sooner so yeah, we can see that list 1126, so it's decent, decent power, I guess, a little bit on the weaker side, but put that in here. Anchor text, St. Nicholas, St. Nicholas, hope for animals. So yep, this is definitely a clean um, backlink profile. 1316. So this definitely looks clean by the anchor text. So by that, then we'll put it in over here to see what that Wayback Archives gives us. So open this is expired, so expired domain in 2008. About us. So yeah, this definitely looks like a dog website. And it probably has been used as a dog website the whole time, yep. Yep, so this is definitely a non spammy domain. Um let's see, I forgot what it looked like. 1316, not bad. Domain 30, 11, page 30, 26, a little bit on the weaker side, but it's still very niche relevant to our dog niche if we had a money site in the dog niche. Very relevant to our niche and very uh, niche specific. So this is, may not be, like I said in the last video, may not be the most powerful domains right here, but all these domains are very niche specific to the dog niche, and that's exactly what you want to see relevant links pointing to your money site and all these right here links from all these sites to a dog money site would make it relevant link so that's what we really like to see right here so keep on keep on going down the list of available domains Maltese puppies info um, let's see put that there
7, domain authority 7, I'll probably pass on that. Like, like I said, I like to see domain authority above 10 if I'm going to register anything. So pass on that. Um, ScoobySkills.com looks kind of like an interesting domain. And put that there. So domain authority is 7. So I mean, page authority obviously would probably go up when you got rid of this www. But the domain authority is still going to be 7. Nope, doesn't even go up. So yeah, pass on that. Two week of a do domain. California Veterinarian Specials. Sounds kind of like a spammy domain, but we'll still see what it gives us. 722 week. I'm going to pass on that. Seaborn Silkies. Let's see what that gives us. So 1025. Um, domain, like I said, I like to see things above domain authority of 10. Um, just for the sake of this, I'll probably keep it. I'd probably add that. And let's see what it shows us right here. And then we'll put it in the Wayback Archives to see what that gives us. 1616, so that's pretty good. About animals, health, pets. Um, Seaborn Silkies. Definitely a clean anchor text right here. So let's head on over to this right here. Paste that right on in there. And, well, it's only been archived two times. One in 2008. Some, set, some sort of... I don't know what language that is, but it's definitely not English, I can tell you that. I don't know what this is right here. Let's let this load up, because it could be something... Um, it looks like it could be spam right here just by the look of this right here. But let's let's let let's let this load up and see what it actually shows us. So it says this domain has just been registered. This obviously is the name of the register, so it doesn't mean it's spammy at all. Um, it just means that's the register that they registered with. Seaborn Silkies. Our Silky Terrier. So this Colonel Club Standard. So this is definitely about Seaborn Silkies, which obviously is some sort of dog, I'm assuming. So this is definitely a non-spammy domain. Let's see. 1025. So I mean, I'm going to add it just for the fact that it's niche relevant, like I said, decently powerful. And let's keep on moving. So canine cancer survivors. Open this up here. Paste that right on in there. 722. I'll pass on that. Homeward Bound Co. I'm gonna pass on that. So you guys can see that it goes pretty quickly when you just have a have some standards that you set for your domains. If they're not above 10, I'm gonna pass on right away. You can see it goes pretty quick. Seven. Nope. Microgenin.org. Whatever that is. Um. Let's see. 10:25. So 22 root domains. We got a link from Adobe right here, Adobe.com Photoshop. It's a pretty good looking link right there. I don't know why they'd be linking from Adobe, but I mean, nonetheless, still a pretty powerful domain. So that's linking too. Let's see what it looks like in Majestic SEO. Yeah, so this probably, this is why I like to use two of them. It kind of counter checks each other. It looks decent from here, but when we look at the Majestic SEO, we can see that it has 32,000, almost 32,000 external backlinks right here. Even though it does only have 126 referring domains, um, we do see some like Russian or something right in here that we do not like to see on any of our domains. So, but just by the look at that, that's spam. Um, carry on to the next domain. This one looks like spam just because there's a bunch of random letters and numbers, but you never know. The ones you think are spam, you type it in. Next thing you know, you have a real powerful domain on your hand. So, yep, 11.25. That looks pretty good. Um, but we do have some Chinese or something here. And a bunch of random names, too. So, it's kind of interesting. Could be spam of some sort. Let's see. I'm probably, I'm going to assume spam. Yeah, 8,000 backlinks. Zero trust flow. Zero citation flow. Bunch of random names. Really. I don't know. I, I it's kind of iffy, but I'm gonna pass just because I don't really know what that is. This really looks like a spammy domain. I'm probably not. I'm actually not. Actually, I'll put it in just because you never know. But 
definitely when there's actually I'll put it in here first because I have a feeling there's a bunch of spammy bunch of spammy links um, 2000 external backlinks trust flow zero citation flow eight bunch of random names again I don't know there's something weird about these sites I don't know probably gonna just pass on these because I mean both these sites this one and this one have a bunch of random names in it for some reason that's anchor text which to me seems a little fishy but almost 27 backlinks 27,000 backlinks bunch of names again I don't know that's weird so definitely gonna pass on that cancrusher.org this looks like it could be a pretty decent looking domain right here that load up 27 look at this to domain authority 27 page 30 39 this looks really good established links 314 root domain this looks really good some Chinese questionable Chinese 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 a lot of Chinese but Inger text looks like a bunch of can crusher I don't know let's let's get a better look at this in Majestic SEO so Okay, so trust flow eight, citation flow twenty-eight, and holy crap, hundred and fifty-eight thousand external backlinks. That's not something you like to see. I mean, there's, there's no way any sites can have that many links without being spam. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it does have relevant anchor text to the site, but I mean, just the fact that it has has 11,000 indexed URLs I don't know this is either a really powerful domain or a really spammy one so let's put it into here to see what it gives us hmm alright let's open this up hmm article marketing success it has nothing to do with can crusher portable AC nothing to do with can crusher <laughs> interesting see recent post great tips on making great choice selections yeah honestly this looks like let's see does that have links link link to me this honestly looks like a private blog network that is expired that someone used back in 2012 as a private blog network and it's definitely not something that I want to have in my blog network. I mean, it has 160,000 backlinks. Um, not anything on this site's relevant to being a can crusher site. Anything about aluminum can crusher. Anything about that. So this definitely it looks like a spammy domain that was used as a private blog network. Definitely gonna pass on that. So let's continue on looking at all these domains. Oh, actually, we only got one more. So canine health problems. Add that to over here, and let's see what it gives us. Input that. Domain 38, so definitely gonna pass. Like to see something above 10, like I said. So that's actually gonna do it. I think that's it. Yep, that's the last of the available domains. So we actually did end up finding a couple. I think we found three here, and then three in the first video. So we actually ended up finding six domains here. Um, I don't know how long these videos are. Probably a little bit less than an hour. If I was doing this by myself and not making a video, I probably would have done that in about half the time. Probably 20, 30 minutes. I would have found these six domains. And like I said, guys, just I really want to emphasize this point. If you had a dog money site and that you wanted to make a private blog network that was relevant to dogs and you had these six sites right here, you'd be a very good start to a very a decently powerful but highly relevant blog network that you could use to really boost your rankings for your money site about dogs. Now, I don't want you to get the thing that this is only good for dogs. You can use this with any niche you want. It just all depends on what search query you put into Google. You all you could be about it could be about iPhones, Xboxes, TVs, laptops, anything. You just type in laptops in quotation marks plus links in quotation marks or blog roll, link roll, anything like that. I really just want to emphasize how good this can be if you put in the time and the work. You may not find the highest powerful domains like I said, but you'll find some highly, highly, highly relevant links. Like look at this one. Domain authority sixteen, page authority thirty. All of these have a page authority of above twenty five, so that's all these are all decently powerful um, links that you can have um, pointing to your money site so hope you guys kinda just understood the value of this and I hope you guys um,
kind of follow along how this process works. You probably follow along more in the first video. The second video is more of just looking at that one domain using Microsoft Excel and spam checking all the domains. So hope you watched both the videos. If you did, hope you enjoyed both of them. Like I said in the first video, um, if you have any questions or comments or anything that you need to answer, please, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely answer all of them that I can. And if you guys need any more information about any certain topic, this, if you want me to go over, I, I'll make a two-hour video if you guys want me to. I'll do anything you guys want just for you guys to better understand this. If you guys need anything answered, I'll do it. Um, I kind of enjoy making these videos. It's pretty easy. Um, it's easier to explain than actually writing. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. And um, I'll talk to you guys all soon. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave a question. Leave your questions below in the comment section. And I'll be sure to answer them. So thanks for watching, you guys. And I'll talk to you guys all soon.